Bring on the madness, y'all. It was our first upset of the day. It's an 11-6 whammy. As Middle Tennessee State, they defeat Louisville. The Blue Raiders, they trailed by as much as 18 points. They came back to win by two, 71-69. Now, Middle Tennessee State, the Conference USA champs, they came into this game on a 19-game winning streak, now extended to 20. CUSA Player of the Year, Savannah Wheeler, bust out with 22 points, mm. 20 in the second half. So, ice. Flowers. Flowers for yes. ice. Because yes. In, Thank <laughs> you. Yes. No, Hold absolutely. It. In our preview show, you called this upset. So what did you know about Middle Tennessee that we saw play out here? Mm, two things. You need discipline and defense. Mm -hmm. And I felt like in watching their conference championship when I called it a week ago that they're a tremendously just disciplined team. They play up the line, in the passing lanes. They ice ball screens well. I thought that really affected Louisville. And then they got to the free throw line 33 times in this game. And so you just think about wanting to get points while the clock is stopped, but wanting to get ahead and maintain their lead. And you talk about Savannah Wheeler. I mean, you couldn't ask more of a player of the year to deliver come tournament time. And I just felt like that was the upset set to pick. I honestly felt like it was an easier upset to pick. Right. You were just like, guys, I, it was so easy for me to see this coming. <laughs> well, flowers to you. I mean, that is absolutely a formula for success. Defense, discipline, getting to the free throw line multiple times, and your star players showing up, mm. right? Um, now, on the other side of this upset, it's Louisville Cass, and this was the first loss in the first round ever for Coach Jeff Walls at, at Louisville. How, how disappointing is this for the Cardinals? It's very disappointing because it's the exact flip of what Ice was talking about with Middle Tennessee. They weren't disciplined. Their defense has not been there. You know, Jeff Walls entered the tournament talking about how his team's focus wasn't there. They had back-to-back -back 20 turnover games. Now, they had fewer this game, but they came at really key moments. We watched them in the final few minutes turn the ball over, not capitalize. That's a recipe to get kicked out early. And Olivia Cochran, you know, having those four Foul fouls yeah. for most of the game, that's a senior center. You don't want that happening. That's discipline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I, I do think that foul trouble can affect the rhythm of an overall team for the game. However, you mentioned the mistakes, the lack of execution, especially when it came to winning time down the stretch. And it was Middle Tennessee that was able to hold on. Check this out. Middle Tennessee, they, they trailed by as much as 18, but under five minutes they were up. This stat. Middle Tennessee, when leading with under five minutes left in the game, went about 95% of the time under Coach Rick Unsell. And today, that one would make them 433 <laughs> and 20 Wow! in those situations. So Middle Tennessee, they're red hot. They've won 20 in a row. Oh, and to make it full circle here and tie it back to the men's tournament as well, yesterday, the men's side, the three upsets we saw were also 11 seeds advancing. And the first upset of the day on the women's side... And 11 seeds. Something about that lucky 11. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs>